hasn't had an accident since. Well, she's been out a lot and she's been hanging out with mom. Uh, I make sure she goes outside. She's kind of sad. She doesn't really like to be alone now. Like before her and Ellie used to sit outside all the time together. And I could kind of just ignore them. What are you doing? Are you wagging? Are you wagging your tail? Huh? That can't be comfortable. That can't be comfortable for your eyes. had to back or clean up all the pee pee places. Look at Coco, she's cute as a button, isn't she? Tomorrow morning we'll be at the trailer. So make sure you tune in for our walk. Sharon, tell your friends that it, it got three buttons, but it was three buttons from Coco. And the reason, um, it was three buttons from Coco. It had no reflection of her work at all. <laughs> I, and I don't know where she got the two buttons from, but uh, I actually filmed it, I filmed it uh, twice. We read the book twice and um, the, the two button rating was a mistake. Like, cause I did do a three button rating. <laughs> I don't want her to feel bad. I just have one dog. Ellie passed away a couple of months ago. She had uh, liver cancer. What's going on with YouTube? Hi, Wanda Moses. Lisa Bandry. Jordan. Donna. Okay. I know, I just felt bad because I didn't want her. Uh, I did read it, I did film it twice, so make sure you. She, that's why there's different views. Yeah, it was really sad, Sheila. If you go back in my pictures, I do. Uh, oh, I did do a tribute to Ellie. Well, and plus, I was like, um, it was new for me to be standing in front of the camera and all that stuff. So, like, and reading the book, I didn't even retain any of it. I was just, like, talking to Coco, reading words. It was not, like, any of it was, like, registering in my head. So, anyways, make sure you tell her that. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to her channel. Be part of the 16,000 Club. It was a nice tribute to Ellie. I have other, I did another video, but it was kind of, it's too hard for me to post. I still have it. Coco, you got to eat your supper. You're not going to start giving me the sass. Probably by Monday, the trees will be in full bloom and we can go for the walk. Anyways, tomorrow, you guys, you've got to watch tomorrow's video. Because that's Coco reacting to... Um, Coco reacting to um, videos. It's cute. It turned out really cute. And then it's cute. The end is really cute, too, because uh, the button ring, she rates herself. 
You guys are ground zero for my videos. If you don't, if you guys don't like them or interact with them, Facebook is not going to do anything with them. So you guys are ground zero. Coco Town is ground zero. Right, Coco? So if you guys watch and interact, then Facebook is like, okay, well, this seems good. And then they start pushing out a little bit to the masses. And if the masses like it, then they keep pushing out more and more and more. Do a trick. She doesn't really do tricks. Wait, maybe she'll do a trick. Do you want to do a trick, Coco? Here. This is the one trick she has. It's a really bad trick. Here. Okay, we'll do a trick. Wings! 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 <laughs> Wings! You're not going to do your trick? That's okay. You don't have to. She didn't do her trick. Sorry. She's got one trick. Oh, that's nice rocks. <laughs> oh, is it Jordan's birthday? Okay. Let's see if Coco dances happy birthday. What is Jordan doing for his birthday? I feel like every day is Jordan's birthday. working on cleaning the house. That's why it's a short, short live tonight. She could have a bladder infection. She could also have a tumor like her sister. She's just like... Well, uh... I 
think her sister motivated her to be better, you know what I mean? Like, to not show weakness and to not show, uh, well, just to be stronger and faster and better and smarter, right? So she doesn't have that anymore. So she's just herself. No, no puppy. No. A puppy would scare her and make her fall. But she has to walk carefully. Newman is eating his dinner, right Newman? He's a good boy. Well, she'll be uh, 13 in September. So we're getting up there for uh, German Shepherd. You love Newman? Newman? Rhonda loves you. Did you hear that? Oh, 42 watching on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Be part of the 16,000 Club. And like, 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 like. Who's following the Sebastian Rogers? Don't be sorry, Dorothy. No sorry near is needed. We're not hearing our noises or Danita. Oh, you're, you're not. You're stuck. Great. Thanks, Jocelyn. You like my post today? Thanks, Dan. Yeah, I'm, I'm bombarding you guys with pictures. Um, because this, someone told me that what I post only reaches five percent of my audience five percent so i could post like 20 times a day and it still wouldn't reach my whole audience so i'm like okay thanks rhonda so i'm like okay because i thought oh i'm just gonna bother people whatever i'm like no i'm just gonna do it Posts a day from me? You must be getting repeats. I post four to five pictures, two videos. Oh, and two lives. So that's two, that's four videos, and five, four to five, six pictures. Plus now they're doing that performance bonus, so every time you you hit the like, um, we get a bonus for it. So every time a picture is liked, and shared, and commented on, we get a bonus. So they, my bonus is back to what it used to be. Before it went down, I was like, you don't mind it, April? That's good. Yeah, he's been stretching a lot lately. I don't know why. See, there he is again.
They're not allowed on the other side of the room because they just clean the other side of the room. Just say, uh, just look at it, Angie, and then we can get started. Sharon, if you're still listening, make sure it's three buttons. Facebook tells you, Angie. It says you can take stars, turn it on. But sometimes you'll get a bonus. Well, we all kind of help her out. Oh, that's your grandma. Brad's mom is so funny. She's like 80. She's like 89, but she said lies and says she's 88. Does that make a big difference? Anyways, she, she, uh, she, um, that was me. I got him. Anyways, she says, she goes, I don't know why they closed my bank account. And then Brad's like, Mom, you gotta watch your banking. You can't just let blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I do watch my banking. Well, how come they close your account? I watch it. She's so funny. The way she cannot stand being told what to do at all. Like, she super knows everything. Like, every single thing. I remember the one time she sent Brad a picture. It was a terrible picture. She didn't know she did it. And then, um, he goes, Mom, you sent me a picture. No, I didn't. You did. I have it here on my phone. Wasn't me. <laughs> I laugh, laugh, laugh. And he's like, Oh, ready for glasses, for Philip. Okay, Coco and I are ready for the glasses. You gotta wait till it says. There we go. Okay, put your face here, you guys. Here come the glasses. Coco, let's see if you get glasses. Does Coco get glasses? Woo, woo, stars and classes. <laughs> do you think they see the glasses, Coco? You do the glasses, Coco. I can't see. Let's see. Could they happen? Could they happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, you buy the stars. He sends a thousand stars and it sends me the glasses. <laughs> uh, YouTubers, if you're on Facebook, uh, they, they have this thing where if you buy sunglasses, they show up on the screen and then I, uh, they're only there for a second? 
Oh, I moved too far. Okay, I gotta be close. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, bummer. There's no way yet. Brad's mom, like, knows every single thing in the world. I moved out too far? Okay. Next time I won't do I won't move far. I'm still learning. You guys gotta take a screenshot of it and send it to me so I can see what it looks like. Brad like his mom. I think he is because he already did. You know when we were when we were moving the trailer? There's two there's two borders. There's one called the truck crossing. And it's all twisty. But the truck part isn't twisty. But the people part is twisty. And I say, Brad, don't go on the truck crossing because it's too too twisty. Go to peace arch because it's straight. Because the, the RV's big, right? And then, the first time, and then it was like a big deal getting it through, and they had to move all this stuff, and the border guards had to move the pylons for us to get through, we could barely made it, and we got in trouble by the customs guard, he said, don't, don't come through here, come through the peace arts. And it was so hard for me not to say, I told you so, because that just would be terrible. If I said, I told you so, you know how bad that is? That's them, them fighting words. Anyways, and then, the second time, I said, Brad, can you go to the Peace Arts? Remember it was so hard the last time, and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, well, I know how to do it better this time. I, I said, are you sure the Peace Arts is just, you just have to go down a little bit more, and then we can go to the Peace Arts, and then, da, 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 da. He's like, no, I know how to do it now, blah, blah, blah. They moved the pylons and everything. I'm like, okay. And here, I'm just super stressed out because I know it's going to be another big deal. And what if we have main border guards? And they don't help us. Because you have to merge. And how do you merge with, like, this huge truck and trailer? Anyways, we did it. It was a kerfuffle. No one would let him in. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? So that's two times he did it. I wanted to say I told you so, but again, like I said, you can't say I told you so. Them fighting words, right? You guys know it. If you've been a couple with someone, you never say that. You know what he said to me last night? We were talking about moving. I said, well, maybe we should start, you know, traveling around in the trailer. I was bugging them. And then, I, I, said, I said, but you don't really like know how to drive it very good. He's like, I know how to drive it. I took it through the, I took it through the, um, the truck crossing. And I should have just listened to myself and gone to the Peace Arch. I said, I told you to go to the Peace Arch. He says, no, I wanted to go to the Peace Arch and you wanted to do the truck cross. I'm like, no, that, you're lying to me. You know. So we got into the, he got, he says he, and it's not true. I think he was doing that to bug me. And then he goes, no, Danita, I told you to go to the Peace Arch. But I'm like, are you getting old or are you lying? Like, which one is it? Like, are you getting old that you forget and cognitively, like, you're losing it? Or are you just bugging me? Then he says, well, let's not talk, talk about it. And I'm like, you're lying to me. <laughs> we don't get into big arguments. Just like, I can't argue. I don't like it. We don't fight. I don't like it at all. Like, this is like, I can't.
Oh, if you want to talk about an American border guard? Oh my gosh. If we have to catch a flight, uh, we cross the border uh, in the middle of the night, and there's the meanest border guard ever there. And I think he only works nights, right? Because we ran into him twice. I think he only does the night shift, and he's the only lane open. And do you know what he says? He goes, are you asking permission to enter my country? And then <laughs> the first time Brad laughed because he thought he was joking. And he goes, I'm not joking. Are you asking permission to enter my country? And then Brad's like, uh, yeah. And then he goes, entering my country is a privilege, you know. I'm like, okay. And I'm, I'm dying, right? Like, I'm dying inside because I know he's not kidding. And then Brad's laughing. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to get a ban from the state forever. Anyway, so we drove away and we're like, wow, that was what weird. That was weird, right? He was almost going to let us see we couldn't come into his country. I've never had that happen to me, ever. And I've dealt with lots of border guards. So then the last time we go down, it's the same guy. I'm like, Brad, don't laugh, right? You just be good. Like, be scared of him. He likes it. Blah, blah, blah. So we go up to the border. He goes, are you asking permission to enter my country? And then Brad, <laughs> Brad goes, yes. <laughs> Scare Brad. <laughs> Not many people scare Brad, but when there's a U.S. border guard playing with your uh, your immigration status, you gotta be scared. <laughs> so then he goes, he goes, he's like, he goes, yeah, and then he's like, thrills him, thrills him, like Brad's. Baddest, biggest, baddest person in town. <laughs> and then we get out of there, we're like, oh my gosh. And we're like, who, who talk, what, how does he live with, like, how do, what do they do if they're like, what does he say? Like, clearly we're not ethnic, right? Like, what does he say to the people that are, uh, um, landed immigrants and stuff, right? <laughs> Like, what did he say to the, what does he say to landed immigrants? That could be very, taken very wrong, but the, pro, the thing about it is, he's the only one working there, so he can do whatever the heck he wants. They just need to click one button and say, you're not coming into my country. Yeah, uh, Canadian border guards, they ask that they have to ask those questions. Do you have cash over 10,000? Do you have uh, personal goods, value of personal goods? Are you carrying weapons? Are you, do you have any uh, weed or whatever they say? So um, they ask, there's a, there's a list of questions they have to ask you. How are you in gone? Blah, 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 blah. Cocktails are perfect. Cockatoos are not. Yeah, it all depends on the guard. There's one guard that I deal with all the time. She has the exact same birthday as me. Same year, same date. So we're always like... We're always like... Do you like dogs? Yes, I like dogs. Because we can only see each other for a couple of minutes. How was your birthday? Good, how was your birthday? So she's nice. She was like, hey, you and I have the same birthday in the same year. Hey, how's uh, Anne doing with his new stuff? 
Rebecca, fill us in. Is it getting better? I make sure I follow all the rules. If I bring something back in that's like $20, I say, when they say personal goods, I say, yep, it's $20. I don't try and sneak anything in because if you start doing that, then you're flagged. Once you're flagged, you're flagged forever. Oh, that's good. Is he, can he be out all the time now or are you still working on it? all the time I gotta go. He still bites bad? Like all the time he bites you? Like flies at you and bites you? Coco, you have your dinner sitting right there. You better eat it. I'll send you to the border guard. going to behaviorist next week. There's a lady that, uh, Parrot SOS. She's very patient. She's online on Facebook. She's got a lot of good videos and stuff. She taught me how to approach uh, Mad Max and all that stuff and read body language. Have you noticed, Have you? are you able to read his body language and what triggers him to bite, Rebecca? <coughs> She's mad at the um, vacuum. I've been 23 times. Um, what? What did I say? Uh, body language. Did they teach you body language? Like, is there a trigger before he bites you? Or is there body language before he bites you? Hey, YouTubers, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and be part of the 16,000 Club. Right, Coco? Yes? Hmm. You've only been to Canada? Coco, where have you been? Canada. Kiwi, what about you? Canada. Yes, thumbs up. Oh, really? Anything triggers him? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's... And the hormone shot hasn't helped? I'm sorry. I, like, medicate him. <laughs> Newman takes... Uh, what does he take? He takes... Um, what does he take? takes diazepam twice a day for his face to stop his uh, nervous nervous scratching and it's helped a lot now he doesn't have to wear a collar worth it hey Rue I'm always scared to cross the Mexican border I don't like lawless. You like lawless, Coco? Coco, it's lawless in here, isn't it, Coco? Ah, uh, yeah, Valiant. He's fine with it, see?
Oh, Ruth only bit me once or twice. First, when I first got her, and another time, she got mad at me, came up, bit my foot or something like that. She's a really good girl that way. Anyways, we're gonna go. We gotta go clean. Coco's acting. So I gotta go clean the house. Thanks everyone for watching and tune in tomorrow. Go for a walk with Izzy at the trailer park. And watch for the new video tomorrow. It's scheduled to go up at 7 a.m. Pacific, so that's 10 a.m. And you guys are ground zero facebook and see how well it does so thanks everyone for watching thanks for the stars everybody i'll do better next time philip with the glasses promise good night everyone